you've heard the the rumors of Stephanie, her leave of absence. I heard. That, well, well, I mean, we discussed on well, the, the show. Well, the leave of absence is not a rumor. She's taken right. that. But the the rumors now that are swirling about about why she decided to do that. I have not heard rumors about why. I mean, we've all opined about why we think it could be, but is there a firm story that's going around now? Well, there's not a firm story, but that you know you're smelling things, and when we you know when you smell something, it's generally fire or a fart, one or the other. Apparently, she took over some of. Remember when Michelle Wilson got shown the door? She was one of the high-ranking executives, wasn't she? One that Vince got up on the wrong side of the bed that day and fired her and put Nick Khan in. George Berrios was yeah. the other one that went with Michelle. Both anyway, of them went at the same time, and then Nick Khan took over. Yes. So apparently, Stephanie absorbed some of Michelle Wilson's duties, and all of a sudden, it, it, as an executive in a major publicly traded company, she wasn't just running around riding herd over the writing staff or, you know, being the billionaire princess. She was actually expected to do, like, whether it be wrestling business or anything else, high level executive shit. And apparently, from what people are internally have been supposedly saying she wasn't getting rave reviews for that. So she might have got her nose in a snoot and said, well, hey, my husband was at death's doorstep and I was ready to push him right on through and I was still working and you didn't appreciate it. So now I'm going to go home and spend some time with my family and adopt the, could this be the Bret Hart? I'll go home and let Shawn Michaels twist in the wind and then come back to save the day uh, theory, or? I think someone's going to have to come save the day. I don't know if it'll be Stephanie, and I don't know who's going to champion for Stephanie. Is it going to be Nick Khan? Is he going to go, you know, we really need Stephanie back? No matter yeah. what the problem is, or are they going to want to get their own people and staff their own people, as opposed to someone who is a McMahon, and there's something that goes with that no matter what role they have in that company. I always thought the best role for her was the chief brand officer gig. Because respectfully, and I know there are legitimate chief brand officers, but from my experience, it's a jerk-off position. It's literally the position you give the daughter of the boss. I think like the Dallas Cowboys, Jerry Jones's daughter is the chief brand <laughs> officer. Stephanie was the chief brand officer. What well, does remember, that mean? Remember Brandy. Was Brandy. The chief brandy officer. Hey, why, don't, why isn't Brandy up for the position of replacing Stephanie? She's got the experience more than anyone else. But anyway, that's what the position is. You go out, you speak, you say, Andre the Giant's my best friend. We do great things. We put smiles on faces. We want to work with your charity. You represent the brand. That's it. She was good at that. She was good at that. You can't deny that. But in terms of executive duties in the office... I've never heard anyone say what a great executive Stephanie is. So apparently uh, she wants to create some space for people to start saying that. The question is, are a lot of people going to be saying that? We shall find out. But mark my words, Jeff Jarrett will be climbing the ladder. <laughs> that would be the... when. When whatever fucking Megalon Corporation Mach 3 buys this fucking thing and they decide, you know, we ought to install Jeff Jarrett as the top wrestling guy. What a reversal that would be. What a disaster that'll be. No, now wait a minute. You mean to tell me that you think that Jeff Jarrett, if he had sole control, would be responsible for a worse wrestling product than the WWE is currently foisting off on us. I don't think it would be a worse product. I also don't think it would be a very good product. And I've not seen much from Jeff Jarrett from, from the shit I've seen over the last 25 years. I have not seen enough that makes me think he's someone who should be leading wrestling to the next level. I think you need younger people. I think you need new people. And I think the problems, and I think Jeff is the most capable of the bunch. I'll say that. And he's useful. But the problems I think right now in wrestling are, the system in WWE with the John Laurinaitis and the Bruce Pritchards and the Jeff Jarrett's, yeah. the career guys. And again, Jeff's more capable than both of those guys put together. But I think you need a complete change and a complete shift, and it has to be generational too. Well, who's going to drop down and shit this guy that you're looking for out? I'm not going to sit here and <laughs> start uh, advocating for certain people, but 
I don't think that's the answer. What what I'm saying is when shit is in is gone as sideways as all of this, at least look for people that you know won't suck. Yeah. And speaking of people who won't suck. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> that would be what three of the people on this pay-per-view. I don't know. It's your show. I'm just following you. I'm here to do your bidding.